This is where I analyze stocks. The most important part of it, the most important addition to it has happened over here. Uh, and this is where I have plugged in AI to help me analyze stocks. I believe at this point, starting about the first of this month, March, uh, I have gained the ability to produce what a Goldman Sachs analyst produces because I have Samantha and Bart, my AI agents, to go through all the information relative to any of the 60 stocks that I have and to give me a financial health of the stock and then also go through all the projections that Wall Street analysts are making about the future of the stock and substantiate that future uh, through AI. And using that, I believe I can now predict what the price of a stock will be in three years with something I would guess in the neighborhood of an 80% accuracy. So what I want to do is share with you exactly how I'm doing it and give you an opportunity to, to uh, take advantage of it. I believe that a stock is a growth stock has certain tells and those tells start with the, the, the growth of their revenue. Over here you'll see I track what the average growth uh, the prior three years growth of uh, revenue are, and then the projected three years growth of revenue. And then I also come in and say, what is the projected growth of earnings per share? I put those two numbers together for what is called the, the 40 uh, 40 percent rule. And that is if you add the three years of revenue to the projection to the three years of earnings per share uh, growth and you come up with a number of larger than 40 you've got a growth stock. So it's as you can see here I'm looking at Apple it has a percentage between those two of 17.6 so it's not a growth stock according to the rule of 40. If I drop down one stock to uh, ACLS, it has a rule of 40 of 94%, uh, 94.5%. .94 so that would be equate as a growth stock. That's one metric. Then what I like to look at is to say, is it a depressed stock? Is it a stock that for one reason or another is not achieving its past history? So I come over here and I look at what, how far off of its prior 52 week high it is and I can see that Apple's off 15.8 percent whereas ACLS is off 69.69 um, percent. Uh, so those are two metrics. Then what I've added to it is what is the price of the stock going to be three years from now and I, I give you a price that it will end 2025, 26, 27, and then its uh, average rate of return from, or its rate of return from its current price, today's price. Uh, that's that number right there, $219.44. So that's telling me that over the next three years, based on the knowledge that we have from the uh, AI agents that I have equated, uh, equated uh, that uh, Apple's going to grow, not in an average, but a total of 32.15, or if we just divide it by three, roughly 11% per year, whereas ACLS is going to grow by 246. If we do simple math and divide that by three, that's roughly 80% per year. So that's how they do it. Now, how do I come up with this 246% number. I basically go and give Samantha all the information that is out on the internet relative to ACLS. That includes their most recent income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, a copy of their most recent uh, earnings report uh, from the transcript, a copy of their annual report, and then I feed it to a program that I have purchased that will go and search the internet for any additional information. F f on, on the average, they go, they go to about 26 other sources on the internet can bring that information into a package and deliver it to me. The package looks like this. 
a 12-page analysis of Apple, uh, a, a seven-page analysis of Broadcom. I've done this on 14 stocks in the last month. As you can see, um, ACLS was 315, Apple was 322. What I want to do now is show you what the analysts believe and what the analysis from my AI agent has said will will be the best performing stocks of the 14 that I have done this month. It takes a while, so I will do probably, now that I am getting better at it, an additional probably 20 um, in April and then share that information with my tribe members. Uh, so let me take you and show you the summation of not only what the price will be in the future and the growth of the stock, but also how far off it's these 14 I've done, how far off their high is, and then also what is their rule of 40. From those three things, I think we can get some kind of a feeling as to where this stock is going. Okay, this is my March stock analysis. And I start by showing you this is the date that I did the uh, AI analysis with Bart and, and uh, Samantha. And I see a mistake right away. That should be 326 because I, I did all of these in, in March. And the first thing I, I want to share with you is the rule of 40. And again, to refresh, that means that we take their average projected growth in uh, revenue and we add that to their average projected growth of earnings all over the next three years and we come up with a total. And that uh, if they so if they are growing at 20% in revenue and earnings per share uh, each, that would be 40. And the, the general consensus is if they're growing revenue and earnings at 40% per year, they are a growth stock. So with that rule of 40, that says that uh, Apple is not a growth stock. It is a stock that is growing, but not at the pace of a avid growth stock, but ACLS is. Um, AEHR is just a little short. APLD, Applied Digital, this is a North Dakota um, digital center, is double, 81%. Uh, Broadcom, about uh, 40. Uh, COHR, and you can see them. These are giving you oracles down around 28. So are they gro growth stocks? Yes or no? We know that. We then take the next piece of information. Are they a depressed stock? That is, how far off their 52-week high has this current condition pushed them so that they are depressed and their current price is not representative of what the market thought the stock was worth within the last 52 weeks. And you can see again, Apple is down 16%, ACLS down 66%, and you can see the numbers to get some uh, kind of feel, are they depressed or are they not? You can see Tesla's off 50%. I think it is realistic to say uh, because of a lot of circumstances, Tesla is a depressed stock. Some because they missed their numbers, some because of the antics of, um, of uh, Elon in the last several months, a lot of reasons. Novitas down um, 63%. Then what we do, I do is create uh, again from, and this is basically from the analysis that uh, uh, Bart and Samantha do through AI by taking all the information off of the internet, both their financials, their, their balance sheet, their income statement, their cash flow statement, their earnings reports, their, uh, uh, their annual filing, and then of any other sources that Samantha and Bart can find that they feel is relevant to the financial health of each of these uh, 14 companies, and then they go and find the analyst projections of what the price of the stock is going to be in 25, 26, and 27. That's December of. So with that, then they give me, okay, what is the difference from the price today 
and what we think it is going to be on January the 1st of 2028. And you can see this again is giving us that Apple will increase its price by 35% ACLS by uh, 235. Uh, one that I just did this weekend is APLD. Now, what I want to share with you is and if you followed me, I bailed on APLD. I made a lot of money on it. And then they started doing some financing and I got scared of it. So I pulled out. But what Samantha and Bart told me was where they went and got their financing was a very sophisticated investment firm. And if that investment firm had not given them the blessing that they got from some of the smartest people in finance, as the report told me, APLD would not have gotten the financing. They also went in and explained to me that the APLD is in negotiations with one of the hyperscalers to take full usage of one of their data centers and then commit to the next one that they are building. And as you can see from that information, Samantha and Bart came back and told me, you were wrong. Do not be afraid of APLD. They are extremely strong and they will give you probably some of the best growth over the next three years that you will have. And as I look at the market today, I recognize that 99% of the market knows nothing about this that 99% of the market has not incorporated Samantha and Bart into their analysis system to give indication of what the potential of this is. Now, the other thing I want you to look at is some of the stocks I know you don't have any clue who they are. Uh, CLF, CFL, how did I find them? I was doing a, a, an analysis of another company and they came to me and said, their biggest competition is a company by the name of uh, our ticker CFLT. I then did an analysis of them through Bart and Samantha and confirmed their suspicions. That's where I also came up with CRDO. Now, you might remember that Micron Technology was my number one stock because it is showing some tremendous growth in 2026. But at 2027, it's done and their price is going to drop. And as you can see, it's going to say it's, oh, it's basically going to drop back to where it is right now. But at the end of that's the end of 2027. But in the end of 2026, it's going to give you a healthy return. I learned that through Samantha and Bard. I learned that because they went through and looked exactly at where their growth was going to come from, when it was going to come, and when is the time to buy and when is the time to sell. Is right now, today, with the tariffs and all the dis disruption, the time to buy? No, it is not. But Samantha and Bart will tell me, based on technical analysis, when is the time to buy. And that's what we will use on our tell sheet to tell us when do we get in. Now, what I'm going to do, because I believe this is a buying opportunity of the next five years, is I'm going to set up my portfolio to start whatever the price of the stocks that I believe the, uh, uh, that I should own on January the 1st of 2028. I'm going to start tracking their price and their growth effective April the 1st, tomorrow. I will put in their cost basis. I will put in how many shares I want to own. And then I will project out to 2028 and say, okay, if, if Samantha and Bart and Carrie are right, this is what that portfolio is going to be worth. And my objective is to get a average rate of return over the next three years from all the stocks that I own of 31%. Why am I picking 31%? Because I recognized if I had had, they had this information and access to this AI talent in April of 2004, I would have recognized that what I should buy is Apple, Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. And if I had done that and put it in a Roth IRA and put $1,500 into each of those stocks 
over the next 20 years till 2024, I would have $4 million of tax-free money. Now, I didn't do that, but I'm going to learn from my mistakes and I'm going to do it in this, the best opportunity of my lifetime to build a million dollar portfolio. I went over this yesterday. We're going to start theoretically with $40,000 and we're going to add $7,000 into a Roth IRA at, and at the end of 10 years, we'll have a million dollar portfolio. If we manage it, if we use the kind of information that Samantha and Bard can give us access to and go at it from a financial point of view. A business is a growth business if it's growing its revenues and its earnings per share in excess of 40% a year. And once they stop growing their earnings and, and their revenues by 40% a year, we go look for the next growth stock. Stocks grow based on opportunity. Right now, the opportunity of a lifetime is all wrapped around AI. I was out with a group of people on Sunday for a brunch and the co conversation came up. Uh, I have no idea what AI is. I do not understand it. The people at the table, 90% of them, did not have a clue about what AI is. Just like in 1989, 90% of the people did not have a clue what the World Wide Web was and what potential it was going to release and how it was going to change our lives. This is giving me access to all the knowledge in the world. All I have to know is the right questions to ask. Okay, look this over. If you wanna be a part of this, if you wanna be a part of the next 20 stocks that I analyze and give you what is, how do they stack up on the 40% rule? How far off their 52 week high are there? What is their projected growth over the next three years? If you want access to that, come to Best of Us Investors uh, Gold Platform and sign up. I'll give you a 14 day free trial. After that, it's $29.95 a month.